Uh, and in this textbook, you'll see all the expected information, uh, the brain, the development of the brain, the cells of the brain, how those cells work, how the neural networks produce all the wonderfully complex behavior, um, but also some unexpected. Uh, in the motivation chapter, I spend probably a little bit more time on work. We spend a lot of time working. Animals spend time working, beavers building those dams, the bower birds building those beautiful elaborate nests to attract the ladies. Uh, how does the brain maintain that sustained energy and work? Also, uh, because I'm so interested in parenting behavior, and I think it's so important for, for mammalian well-being, um, I cover maternal and paternal behavior uh, in the reproductive uh, chapter. Um, there's also an emphasis on decision-making and neuroeconomics in the learning chapter. And there's an emphasis of neuroplasticity throughout because it's so important for students to understand how our brains never stop changing. Uh, and it's important that we put them in the right environments so that they're changing in appropriate and adaptive uh, ways. I've tried to use a storytelling approach throughout the entire text because everybody loves a good story. So I think because humans are predisposed to language, if I can wrap the information around a good story, that it facilitates learning.